Good morning class. Today's Friday. Yesterday we found out that a student in Mrs. Nearing's class was naughty for threatening to send her on an Air France flight to Paris, France. She got sent home early for it. So, I want you all to be on your best behavior. Or else I'll call your parents. They'll come pick you up, take you home, and punish you. Anyway, let's start class. Today in social studies, let's practice European capitals together. Shall we? What's the capital of Spain? Madrid. Correct, Lucille. Next one. What's the capital of Italy? Rome. Excellent, Matthew. What's the capital of England? London. Awesome, Melanie. What's the capital of Norway? Oslo. Absolutely correct, Kevin. What's the capital of? Attention students, staff and faculty. Could Mrs. Russell, Mrs. Sanchez, Mrs. Ludwig, Miss Cassidy, and Miss Seidel please report to the conference room for a fifth grade team meeting? It's urgent that you attend. Your team leader, Mrs. Tribbiani, has information regarding the upcoming school year. So the following teachers mentioned, please report to the conference room. Thank you. I'll be back class. This is an important meeting that I have to attend. You all stay here in the classroom until I get back. Remember to be on your best behavior. I'm back class. Now let's get back to our European capitals. What's the capital of the Netherlands? Amsterdam. Perfect, Charlotte. Now for a hard one, what's the capital of Austria? Vienna. Excellent job, Joyce. Now that we have done enough European capitals, I think we should get you to shut up. Lucille Saunders. If you plan to become naughty, then you can get out of my classroom. Out to where? Africa. Do you think you were funny? Well, you're not. That kind of behavior is way too inappropriate for someone your age. I think I should send you away on a Japan Airlines flight to Tokyo, Japan. You really need a vacation. Melanie Baker, how dare you threaten to send me away to Tokyo, Japan? It's not a threat. It's a promise. I do not need a vacation. You do not threaten to send people away to other places. That's nowhere near appropriate. Naughty girl. That reminds me. Who wrote this naughty note and left it in Mrs. Wilkerson's classroom? What note, Mrs. Sanchez? See for yourself. Oh, that was me that did it. I did that as a practical joke. Ha 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 ha. I love to see her reaction on her face. Matthew Rogers, how dare you wrote this naughty note to Mrs. Wilkerson? You know very well that Mrs. Wilkerson is hot-headed, meaning she gets angry easily and is very sensitive. Thanks to you, I have to write a long apology letter to her and that's not going to be easy. Calm down before you poop your pants. Kevin Richards, you what your language. What you said is inappropriate for someone your age. You really need to calm down. If you don't, you'll lose all your hair. Charlotte Douglas, don't even start acting naughty. I have enough naughty students to handle. We should team up together and put lots of makeup on you, Mrs. Sanchez. Joyce Williams, how dare you come up with the idea of putting lots of makeup on me? I have enough makeup on my face. You do not come up with such ideas like that. Hey, Mrs. Sanchez. Me and my twin brother have something for you. What is it? If you boys have something naughty, I don't want to hear it nor do I want to see it. Period. You'll have another thing coming if it's something naughty. We'll see about that. Now, Blake and Justin Parker, how dare you boys hit me? That really hurt. Well, you deserved it, Mrs. Sanchez. Naughty boys. I didn't deserve it. You do not ever hit people. Nappy for you, Mrs. Sanchez. Josh Dixon, don't even think about putting a nappy on me. You need one because it looks like you are going to pee and poop yourself. I mean it, Josh. Don't do it or else you'll be in big trouble.
Josh Dixon, how dare you put this nappy on me? That's sexual harassment. Time to make things better. Grayson Schmidt, if you think you are going to join the fun of being naughty, you'll have another thing coming. And what's that, Isabella? I thought I heard my first name come out of your mouth. You do not address me like that. That's very disrespectful. I'm your teacher. Whatever, Isabella. Grayson Schmidt, stop addressing me so rudely. You do not address the staff and faculty by their first name. Class, you all have been naughty all morning and I'm very disappointed in you. If you don't get your act together, I'll send you all to the principal's office. What act? Romeo and Juliet? Melanie, do you think you were funny? Well, you're not. That does it. I'm sending you all to the principal's office. What naughty students I have. Your mothers are on their way to pick you guys up and to ground you for what you did. I called them just before the principal sent you guys back. Matthew David Rogers, you were grounded for four weeks. How dare you be naughty in class? When we get home, you'll be sent to your room before dinner is ready. Naughty boy. Whatever, mom. Don't give me that attitude, young man. You know very well that your mother has to take care of 25 patients each day at the hospital, and it's not that easy. Melanie Janet Baker, you are grounded for five weeks. How dare you be naughty in class? When we get home, you're going to have a nappy on and be sent straight to bed. Naughty girl. Chris and Memory Schmidt, you are grounded until further notice. How dare you be naughty and address Mrs. Sanchez in a very disrespectful manner. You are a very naughty girl. Lucille Morgan Saunders, you are grounded for five days. How dare you be naughty in class? That means no princess parties, no shopping, and no pony rights. Naughty girl. Late Jordan and Justin Tyler Parker, you both are grounded for two weeks each. How dare you be naughty and hit Mrs. Sanchez? That means no video games and TV. Naughty boys. Josh Trevor Dixon, you are grounded for three weeks. How dare you be naughty and put a nappy on Mrs. Sanchez? When we get home, you're going to have a nappy on for that. Naughty boy. Why, Mom? Well, what you did was sexual harassment. It's a crime and you could get arrested. I hope you won't do such a thing ever again. Naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Kevin Nelson Richards, you are grounded for four weeks. How dare you be naughty in class? That means no having friends over, no computer games, and no dessert. Naughty boy. Charlotte Summer Douglas, you are grounded for five weeks. How dare you be naughty in class? When we get home, you'll be sent to your room without dinner and dessert. Naughty girl. Joyce Ann Williams, you are grounded for one week. How dare you be naughty and threaten to put lots of makeup on Mrs. Sanchez. That means no playing outside and no TV. Naughty girl. Now that all the naughty students are gone, I think it's time that I let the other half of the class go home since they've been good. Ha ha. Yes. My plan worked. Getting half of Mrs. Sanchez's class to be naughty. Harriet Foster, I might have known it was you. How dare you think it's appropriate to sneak into my class room to get half of my students to be naughty while I was at a meeting. You just made me getting them sent to the principal's office and sent home and punished. I'm going to have to have a talk with your mother about this when she comes to pick you up. Is she going to ground me? Yes, she will. What must I know, Isabella? Sharon, your daughter has done a really despicable thing in my classroom. That's what you must know. What? Really? Yes. What did she do? She sneaked into my classroom to get half of my students to be naughty after I got back from a meeting, making them sent to the principal's office and sent home and punished for it. Harriet Amber Foster, how dare you sneak into Mrs. Sanchez's classroom to get half of her students to be naughty after she got back from a meeting? You have a lot to learn, Missy. No, I don't. Yes, you do. As of this moment, you, Harriet Amber Foster, are grounded. For how long? Two months as you yet again be naughty.
When we get home, you'll be sent to your room without any dinner and dessert. Naughty girl. The nerve of that girl. Thanks to her, I have to write so many apology emails to the parents of the students who have been falsely accused of being naughty. How dare she?